Quebec's coroner is investigating the death of a 26-year-old woman who died this week from complications during childbirth. Eloise Dupuy needed a blood transfusion, a medical practice that goes against her faith as a Jehovah's Witness. Now, some of her loved ones are questioning whether Dupuy was unduly influenced to refuse the treatment. Denise Roberts reports. It was the happiest time in Eloise Dupuy's life. The night before she gave birth, her aunt says she was overjoyed to finally realize the dream she had since she was a little girl. But during childbirth, she suffered a hemorrhage, which nearly cost her baby its life and ultimately cost Dupuy hers. That's because Dupuy, a Jehovah's Witness, declined a blood transfusion. And it was her right to do so, according to lawyer Jean-Pierre Manard. A person has the right to uh, refuse any kind of treatment for a good reason, bad reason, or any reason at all. The patient is an adult and uh, fit to consent. Even if his decision will bring, uh, will place him in the worst situation. While the coroner is investigating Dupuy's death, her friends and aunts say they don't believe Dupuy would choose to die. It was like she was a hostage, she says. No one was allowed in her room who wasn't a Jehovah's Witness. No representative of the Jehovah's Witnesses was able to speak with us on camera. Instead, they directed us to their website, which outlines what they believe about blood transfusions and why. The policy stems from Bible passages they say call on believers to abstain from blood. Transfusions fall in that category. While controversial, the law protects this belief. Still, patients' right advocate Paul Brunet says more safeguards need to be in place to ensure informed consent. Any influence uh, can certainly affect the uh, voluntary consent. Any influence, would it be religious, financial, family, whatever is the influence, it certainly can contaminate the, the consent and that is certainly upon the medical staff to make sure that such influence is not uh, at stake with the consent that they should verify and make sure like it for the medical aid to die that the patient has given twice at different moments. Meanwhile, the tributes are pouring in on Facebook for Eloise Dupuy, a mother at last, now gone. Denise Roberts, CTV News.